Hey, wanna hear a joke? Okay, here it goes. DC Black Label. <laughs> it's, it's funny because DC Black Label shot itself in the foot with this goddamn book. So, yes, Universe, we are going to be talking about, now that it's finally over after how long of a hiatus? Like, what, six, seven months after to, to get the third book out, right? Um, we're, I'm going to be reviewing Batman Damned. Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, man, remember when this was hyped up as, like, DC Black Label? It's like nothing you've read before. It's like the ultimate, it's like, think of Marvel Max, but, like, better. Yeah! And then the controversy with Batwang happened, and it just kind of spiraled from there. And this book, on a whole, and its execution, did not help. This comic... Okay, Azarello, I don't know what your problem is with superhero comics, and I definitely don't know why you have such a grudge, against, you know, trying to make Batman like this idiot character sometimes... But, um, yeah. It, this is... It, now, look, if you like Batman Damn, totally fine, but me? Wow, this was just... Oh, man. So, first off, let's talk about the good. The good being Lee Bermejo's artwork. Wow. Give this man a cookie. Or, and by cookie, I mean raise. Because the, the Lee Bermejo's, Bermejo's artwork is definitely the best part of this story. Like, I think, you know, as bad as this comic was, as bad as the three-part comic was, this was probably Bermejo's, probably his best work. Like, seriously. I thought Batman Noel was probably his best artwork. Also, the writing, just saying. Um, although, granted, it's, it's, it's Batman A Christmas Carol. But it was fun. I liked Noel. Um, it's a neat little story. Um... Having said that, though, the artwork in here is great, especially, oh my god, I loved his, uh, like, Lee Bermejo, I need him to do a Swamp Thing series. I need him to do the artwork on a, on a, swamp, on a swamp Thing book, like, post-haste, because his Swamp Thing is amazing. Aside from the artwork, this, fuck this book. So, for those who are unaware of what this, this comic is, Batman Damned is basically a story where Bruce Wayne, along with John Constantine, are trying to investigate... Did the uh, with the Joker dead? Did Batman murder him, or is there something else going on? Now this is kind of its own DC universe, and wow, um, I didn't think that Azarello was mean spirited to superheroes before, but I really believe it here because he makes like the Waynes like an insufferable group, uh, uh, insufferable parent pair of parents who hate each other and subsequently hate Bruce and blame a lot of their problems on him. There's also some stuff between Bruce and his mom that almost feels like a little bit of Norman Bates. It's... Mm. Mm -mm. Um, also, we have this weird... There's also, like, no continuity between the books, and I get it's trying to be, like... I guess he's trying... Uh, Azrael is trying to be, like, Kubrick and be like, it's all for interpretation. It's all for the sake of art. No, you just had no goddamn idea what you were doing. Because this feels more like a Hellblazer book than it does a Batman book. Because really, Constantine is the character we're following more than Batman. And Batman's just kind of like a guest star in his own book. And it's also equally weird because, you know, we have the Batwing controversy, but we clearly have Zatanna, a, a full-on ass shot of Zatanna. Alright. No contra- alright, whatever. No one's gonna complain, you know, whatever. Um, I guess since it's in fishnets, it's cool, I guess. Also, that doesn't make any fucking sense, because here's another thing that bothered me. In the second issue, we have all the, um, supernatural characters at this nightclub, and they're all redone as these, uh, different characters, like Jason Blood is like an, is like a rapper, um, and a few other characters, like the homeless man, uh, like the Spectre is this homeless man who follows Batman around. Um, and then they immediately change it in the following issue. Granted, it did the following, and by following issue, I mean six months later. Everyone goes back to looking like their classic comic book forms. Yeah. The whole thing with Enchantress of, like, Batman apparently made a deal with Enchantress. It also leaves up the whole thing is if Batman 
murdered the Joker or if Joker lived and Batman died. There's this whole thing of back and forth. And really, it doesn't lead anything open to interpret. Like, it leads like, oh, you have to understand, you know, it's up to for interpretation. No, it's not up for interpretation. It's so goddamn confusing because in the second issue, there's a moment where Harley Quinn tries to rape Batman on the bat signal, and then it's kind of hinted that he murdered her. And then the next book, he's in a coffin with no explanation or no mention of the Harley Quinn thing. Yeah. This book jumped around. I don't understand, like, were they trying to do a Dante's Inferno thing with this book? Were they trying to go for, like, an, a Dante's Inferno kind of deal of Batman going through the seven circles? Which, again, it doesn't make any sense, because if Batman's dead, he's clearly talking. And you could make the argument, but they're supernatural characters. They could probably see him. But no, when he's, like, with Harley Quinn and a few other characters here and there, it's very clear that they can see and talk to him. So I don't understand that. I don't get what's the what was the thing he, that with that. Um, almost sounded like Jerry Seinfeld. What's the deal with What's the deal with this book? Ugh, that was bad. I apologize. I I think that um, Azarello has some good books. Like I do like his Joker comic, and I liked his Lex Luthor book. But really, and his Hundred Bullets. You can't go wrong with that. But really. Has he done anything recently that has really, like, made people go, wow? Although, granted, Flashpoint Batman, looking back on that, looking back on Flashpoint Batman, it's a cool idea, but, like, the whole miniseries of the f he did with Flashpoint Batman was like, alright, that was overly edgy. And that's the problem, is that that's where this book really fails, and this is where I think that it really hurt the DC Black Label on a whole. It was trying to be overly edgy. When you look at, and I'm not trying to say like as a Mar, I'm not saying this as a, you know, ooh, he likes Marvel more. No, I like comics both, uh, you know, both Marvel and DC and independent. Um, but what I mean is like when Marvel Max was a thing, Marvel Max didn't try to be overly edgy. Yeah, you could swear and show nudity and stuff like that. But there was, you know, a there was a story there. There was oh, it was never like oh, you know, we're not gonna hype up the vi you know, there's gonna be violence there, but it's gonna serve the story. What I feel like what happened with DC Black Label was that it was supposed to be the same thing, but Azarello really kind of went way too far too fast with um, this book because it was trying to be way too like, yeah, this is DC Black Label, you're, you little shit, you know, you're gonna eat shit and die if you don't like Batman Damn because it's the new era of DC. Oh. So that was my, but that's where I think it really, they really cocked up, was that they really put all their eggs in one basket with Batman Damned of being the flagship of DC Black Label, and then this book happened, and all the controversy along with it. Um, because now, um, all they're going to be remembered for, this book is just going to be remembered for two things. Well, one thing, but I'm going to say two things. The gorgeous artwork, and Bat Dick. That is really all we're, this book is going to be remembered for. And I've looked through, I've read this book a few times, and I'm still like, I reread it like in its completion, and I was like, I still don't get the message they're trying to convey. I mean, it's really cool that it ends on, I mean, well, not, well, cool in the sense that it's Lee Bermejo artwork, um, paying homage to Brian Bollard, uh, Bo Brian Bollard's image of the Joker in Batman Killing Joke, which, by the way, that needs to be a poster real quick. That that homage image of um, from the killing joke of Joker climbing out of the water with his hands in his ha head and just laughing hysterically. I actually do have um, it's kind of it's kind of obscured recently, but yeah, I actually do have um, a poster from Brian Azzarello's Joker of uh, from um, of Joker leaving the asylum, and I'm kind of going on a tangent here. I apologize. So my thing was, there was potential. That's what really, what really uh, bothers me about this book is that there was clear and present potential for this book, but Azarello really went too dark, too fast with this, and really wanted to showcase, oh yeah, black label. This is the new shit. Get over it. And yeah, he basically took the whole idea of mature content and went way too far. I can only imagine what he would do um, had it been, you know, in the second issue with the rape scene, with the Harley rape scene. 
And I also imagine of what could have what could have been worse in uh, Superman Year One with that scene of Lana Lang about to be gang raped had it not been for Clark stepping in. I can only imagine how bad that could have gone so fast. So, yeah, Batman damned took too long. The payoff wasn't good. Artwork was great, and no 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 Batwang no 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 no. I'll stop. Anyway. So, this book really tries to be, like, deep and insightful, but really it just comes off as confusing and weird with, you know, having Batman make a deal with Enchantress to take away his fear, um, and it doesn't go anywhere because it's mad, you know, it's just really just there, and they don't, I feel like this should have had at least one more issue, honestly. This really should have had, like, at least one more issue to wrap everything up because this feels like after three books was not enough to tie everything together. And I don't, uh, then again, I don't know if an extra issue would have explained anything either. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, uh, what did you guys think of Batman Dam? Did you guys like it? Hate it? Um, were you? If you liked it, that's totally fine. We've got no problems here at Uni Comic Universe if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I per I don't even know if J or C dubs like this either. Uh, but anyway, so once again, if you're new here, remember to like, share, and subscribe um, our videos. Uh, always appreciate that because YouTube is all, is uh, broke as all hell. Uh, also, if you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. We're always uh, thankful for that as well. And yeah, once again, just comment below, let us know what did you think of Batman Damned. And on behalf of everyone here, I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.